video, we will cover how to do embalming math when you have multiple arterial chemicals. For purposes of simplicity in learning, for this equation, we will give you just what you need to know for the information to plug into the formula. The body was embalmed with 18 ounces of a 21.5 index arterial. 4 ounces of an 18 index arterial, 16 ounces of a 32 index arterial, 4 ounces of a 36 index arterial, and the total volume in the tank is 384 ounces, which is 3 gallons. Now this may seem very empty or as if we're missing something, but we're not because this is all you need in order to make the equation happen. Now, you're used to us giving you supplemental chemicals as well. And even though we list them at this point, they're not needed because they don't contribute to the total index in the tank. Therefore, all we need to know is the chemicals, the arterial chemicals that we're adding, and we need to know the total volume. So now you want to pause the video, see what you can do with this, and see if you can find out what the overall percentage is within the tank, indicated by P in the equation. When we return, we'll go over the equation step by step. But see what you can do on your own first. We're going to use the same equation that we are already familiar with. Index times concentrated ounces equals percentage times total volume. But what we're going to do is add brackets for each arterial chemical separate. So each one will be index times concentrated ounces plus the next in, uh, chemicals index times concentrated ounces. By doing this, by plugging it in, we have 21.5 times 18 for the first chemical, 18 um, indexed by 4 ounces for the second, 32 indexed by 16 ounces for the third, and 36 indexed by 4 ounces for the second. We're going to multiply each bracket and come up with an answer, so 387, 72 for the second chemical, 512 for the third, and 144 for the third chemical. By adding these various chemicals together, we get a total of 1,115. Now this equals the percentage in the tank by the total volume in the tank of 384. When we divide the total volume, 384, by both sides to remove it from the right side, we get 1,115 divided by 384, which is going to give us the total percentage of formalin in the tank. When we do this division, we come up with 2.9% formalin in the tank. Take the time to pause and process this information and compare it to your scrap paper that you were doing earlier. Again, we're going to take the same formula. We're just taking the left side of the equation and adding together the left side as many times as we need to to account for each arterial chemical that we use. So again, the first chemical plus the second chemical plus the third. If you use more than one bottle of each chemical, you can just keep using higher numbers. So you don't need to write out 16 ounces and 16 ounces for the concentrated ounces uh, and do the index for each one. If it's the same index, then you could use 32 ounces, which is two bottles, 
and then just write the index times 32. So in this case, again, we're reading out our first chemicals index, which is 21.5, and multiplying that by the volume in that bottle, which we used 18 ounces of. And we're adding that to our second chemical, 18 index arterial, multiplying that by 4 ounces, or adding that to our third chemical, which is 32 index arterial, multiplied by 16 ounces. And we're adding that to our fourth chemical, 36 index arterial, which we used 4 ounces of. And then we keep writing it out as P times the total volume, which was 384 ounces, or 3 gallons. As we do with all algebra, we do the multiplication first. So 21.5 times 18 is 387, and 18 times 4 is 72, and 32 times 16 is 512. 36 times 4 is 144. So we've written out each one of these. Then we're going to add all of those chemicals together. So when we add 387 to 72 to 512 to 144, we get 1,115. We need to remove the total volume from the right side so that we can isolate P. In order to do that, we divide 384 by both sides. That cancels all out the 384 on the right side, isolating P, and that gives us 1,115 divided by 384. Well, 1,115 divided by 384 gives us 2.9. 2.9 is the total percentage of formalin in the tank, P. I really hope that this video helped you. Please click the link in the lower right hand corner to subscribe so you can get more practice problems as they're added.